Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic that is camp cycle in plants. Camp cycle is an adaptation of desert plants to survive in water deficient environment. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Moving into the topic, starting with camp pathway. So this is a desert plant and you can see uh, this mesophyll cells of this plant Suppose this is a mesophyll cell of this plant. The major concern of this plant is to conserve water. So this pathway allows the plants to conserve water. So let us move into the cycle. First step is during night time, stomata open in camp plants. Camp plants, the stomata is having a speciality which is called a scotoactive. It can open during night time and it can close during daytime. That type of stomata is called a scotoactive. Stomata opens during night and carbon dioxide enters and it combines with PEP forming oxaloacetic acid in the presence of enzyme PEP carboxylase, just like C4 pathway. And that oxaloacetate is converted to malic acid and that is transported to vacuole and it is stored during night time. Therefore, the intracellular acidity increases. That is why this phase is called as acidification phase. During daytime, in order to avoid water loss by transpiration, this plant closes its tomato and malic acid is stored in the vacuole and that malic acid is taken out and that is decarboxylated to release carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide runs the Calvin cycle. It enters the chloroplast and runs the Calvin cycle. And this malate is decarboxylated to pyruvate and that is recycled back. So the advantage of this pathway is even without opening the stomata during daytime, Calvin cycle can run using the carbon dioxide that is produced by the decarboxylation of malic acid that is stored in the vacuole during night time. So the point in camp cycle is that initial carbon dioxide fixation occurs during night and Calvin cycle occurs during daytime. And both these are separated in time and both reactions occurs in mesophyll cells. Here the first stable compound just like C4 cycle here also it is oxaloacetic acid and this pathway ensures minimum photorespiration and prevents water loss by transpiration that allows such plants to survive in desert condition. Now why C3, C4 and CAM pathway? The first and the most important point is all plants makes glucose by C3 cycle or Calvin cycle. Calvin cycle as we know it is a cycle that is involved in the synthesis of glucose from carbon dioxide with the use of ATP and NADPH that is synthesized during light reaction of photosynthesis and that is the cycle that is universal to plants for the synthesis of glucose. Whereas there is C4 cycle which is also an adaptation to survive in dry habitats that minimizes the wastage of energy by photorespiration thus increases the photosynthetic efficiency of the plants. Then the third pathway is a CAM pathway which is called as crystallization acid metabolism cycle as this pathway was first observed in the members of family Crystallaceae. It's an adaptation to live in desert condition that ensures minimum water loss by transpiration. Now examples of CAM plants. Examples include pineapple, a cave, cacti, orchid, all are examples, plants that are adapted to live in hot, dry, desert environment. Approximately 8% of all land plants are camp plants. Majority are succulents. The advantage of camp plants is photorespiration is very much minimized or suppressed and transpiration rate is very much reduced as stomata opens only at night time. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforu.com.